the series is all tied up at one, thanks to Anze Kopitar's overtime winner, 207 into the extra frame. Please be joined by 630 Chad's Cam Moon. And Cam, the big players for the LA Kings, well, they came to play. Adrian Kempe scores twice. Drew Doughty also gets in the goal column. The aforementioned Kopitar and, oh yeah, Kevin Fiala also scored a little bit of a weird one in that third period. What were some of your takeaways from this hockey game and what allowed LA to find so much success? Well, I thought the Kings played much better in game two. No surprise there, we thought they would, but they did a, a better job of clogging up the neutral zone, not allowing the Oilers to gain possession within the LA end and force the Oilers to dump it in a lot more. So that was advantage Los Angeles. I mean, the skilled goals by Adrian Kempe, those were amazing. Anze Kopitar has a goal and two assists and he gets the OT winner. I mean, these are quality players with a lot of experience and they played very well tonight. You got to tip your cap to them. And Cam Talbot, we got to mention him. He made a couple of saves. And I think a one in the second period on an Edmonton power play oh. that uh, was an absolute game saver. And if not for Talbot making big saves, the Oilers come back in this game. And you know, they were down 3-1 after one Edmonton was. They battled back and I thought, uh, you know, they pushed hard. But uh, the LA Kings found a way tonight. Cam, it was a highly entertaining affair on Wednesday night here at Rogers Place. Now, the Oilers did also put four past Cam Talbot, one courtesy of Brett Kulak. Zach Hyman gets his fourth of the series already. And, oh, yeah, two from Dylan Holloway. Number 55 was outstanding on Wednesday. Yeah, really happy to see Dylan Holloway, you know, get a couple of goals. And since he's come back from Bakersfield, has played with just a, a renewed confidence in his game. And he's always had that speed. He's always had a really good shot but we're seeing that shot more often now and maybe that's because of the confidence but he has played well since coming back from Bakersfield he has rolled that right into the playoffs he found a way into the playoff roster and is now taking advantage of it it's great to see he's a young player that's on the rise and we are just seeing to me just the tip of the iceberg so far all right we also heard from Stuart Skinner post game of course he allowed five goals on 26 shots he was very honest as he always is but one interesting thing that he said it was, and of course I'm paraphrasing here, I hope we go on a long run so I can feel this feeling again. When you hear a goaltender say that, Cam, as a former netminder, what goes through your mind? Wow, he is just an incredibly uh, mature young man uh, and his ability to have a, a game like this where you lose in overtime you're going to be incredibly emotional about it and be upset about it especially as a netminder uh, because you know whether you win or lose as a goaltender you usually have a hand in the game uh, but to be able to you know, know that an hour from now like Stewart had said he's going to be just fine that's that's pretty impressive so I expect him to bring his best game in game three and he has got the uh, the mental makeup to be a very successful NHL goaltender. Well, Stuart Skinner and the Empton Oilers hope to rebound come Friday night game three goals in Hollywood get your coffee ready it's an 8 30 p.m. mountain puck drop can't wait.